What's going on YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome to the 10th episode. Holy smokes of our Royal Rumble series, man. I just want to say I want to dedicate this entire video to a subscriber by the name of Brother Malachi who donated 200 US American dollars in the last live stream and he requested if we can do Cobra Kai versus Cobra from G.I. Joe. All right, so we're gonna do this right here. Holy cow, man. Once again, thank you so much to Brother Malachi. Holy, nobody's ever donated that much in a live stream and I had to come through for him, brother. I had to come through. So I'm gonna be using Bobby Brown and I'm not talking about the R&B singer. I'm talking about Bobby Brown from the first Karate Kid. He was like the second best Cobra Kai member. And everything's randomized here. The winner of this rumble is going to go to the championship rumble. You know how we do, brother. But um, Bobby Brown, in my opinion, he was the nicest guy out of all the Cobra Kai members. And look at who's coming in at one. Serpentor rolling in at one. That is awesome. But um, back to Bobby Brown. I believe he faced Daniel LaRusso in the semifinals. And he's like, I could take this guy to the sensei, John Kreese. And John Kreese is like, we're not looking to win. And um, he made him, holy cow, he uh, brainwashed this kid into delivering an illegal kick to Daniel LaRusso, injuring him and disqualifying poor Bobby Brown, who I thought <laughs> probably would have won the tournament if he was in real life. But um, it was unfortunate for him. But also, he was the same character. Remember during the Halloween party when <laughs> Daniel LaRusso put that hose on Johnny Lawrence and then they chased him down? Uh, through that field well after they beat up Daniel it was the one Cobra Kai member that was saying Johnny he's had enough he's had enough he's had enough and then Johnny kept on beating his butt and then Mr. Miyagi saved the day well the guy that tried to break up the fight was Bobby Brown my favorite Cobra Kai member so that was a long drawn out intro I'm gonna be using him let's see how we do Holy smokes. And again, shout outs to all of you guys for being here and much love to Malachi. Holy cow, brother Malachi for the unbelievable donation, man. When I do the live streams, I just go on there having a great time and it's so cool just hanging out with you guys and <laughs> when you guys donate, it's just such a surprise, brother. <laughs> but look who's coming in. It's Hawk. And from the TV show... Cobra Kai. Hawk is one of the mainstay members. And why is he? Oh, okay. I was going to say he's got the Cobra Kai logo in the background. But I was going to say, why is he dressed all in white? But uh, it's a new apparel. Maybe it's live on their website. <laughs> he's coming in at two. I love this kid, Hawk. Have you ever seen Cobra Kai, the TV show? You know, it's it's so captivating, man. You watch one episode, and that's what makes them really good. But this kid went from being, you know, basically a kid that can't really socialize, can't really interact with people, and then he got a couple tattoos. I don't recommend getting tattoos, but got a mohawk, and it really uh, increased his confidence. And speaking of confidence, he's showcasing what Johnny Lawrence has been giving him. All those sessions, and he's going up against the big boys, man. Serpentor. All right, let's see who's coming in now. Crockmaster. Don't call him Crackmaster. <laughs> Crockmaster rolling it at three. This is not good for Hawk. And I've said this before for WWE 2K23. They got to form alliances, man. They got to form alliances for Rumbles. So I would have loved to have seen Crockmaster and Serpentor just team up against Hawk, you know? But <laughs> it's every man to himself according to the AI, but you guys know it, man. In Rumbles, guys team up that are friends. Here we go. Dutch. Now this guy I created, and this is Dutch from the original Karate Kid movie. You know the blonde guy? This guy terrified me, man, because he was always just so intimidating when it came to his interactions with Daniel LaRusso. You know, on a side note, so that movie is a fantastic movie about bullying now I have a buddy who um, he loves the Karate Kid series as well as <laughs> these guys look at these guys going at it 
but my good friend was saying that in the movie, if you look closely, Daniel LaRusso was the bully. Now, let me know if you agree with that because certain things that happen, it kind of goes both ways. But uh, it was Cobra Kai that was kind of seen as the, the bully in the movie. But Daniel LaRusso was doing some bullying too. But anyway, here we go. We've got Storm Shadow. Let's get right into this. That's a long, drawn-out intro. As Hawk using his kicks. Serpento now going after Storm Shadow. How about Dutch? The 80s, baby. Oh, look at this. Going into a uh, into full guard, into a Kimura. Unbelievable. How about this? Serpentor eliminates Storm Shadow. And here comes Little Red, who I believe is in this TV show. Yeah, look at Little Red. Rolling in. Whoa. His forehead's all cut up. What happened? What happened to Little Red? Let's see what he does. He's hesitant. But it's interesting that Team Cobra and Team Cobra Kai are kind of sticking together. Why? Why? I just don't understand. I don't understand what is going on. Here we go. Serpentor going after Little Red. Here we go, brother. Destro. And this is bringing back great fond memories of my childhood. You know, I didn't have all these toys, but you team up with the right <laughs> neighbor or right friend who's got all the toys. I'm sure you've done that too, brother. Um, you get to enjoy all the 80s toys. And I've said this before. I never owned a Nintendo Entertainment System, and I always wanted to own one. But I just became friends with people that owned them. And uh, anytime they kind of got under your skin you thought about the nintendo and you're like you know what they're not that bad and here we go look at this we're coming in at eight sweet eight bobby brown i'm telling you i love this guy with that beautiful brown hair oh no he's going after dutch he's going after dutch they were good buddies oh no oh nice job by us and uh i can't believe it we're going after our old buddy from the 80s no mercy baby Fear does not exist in this dojo, does it? No, Sensei. Let's see if we can go Dutch out on out here. Uh, I don't think he's ready to go out. I'm not gonna take that chance. Here's Kyler Park. Kyler Park, and this is from the TV show. And how about this? Look at that. <laughs> Are we gonna help out Dutch? Forget that, brother. Forget that. Oh, nice, nice little uh, hip toss. And Dutch has that strength advantage. Oh, I mistimed it. Oh. Oh, a nice little roll. Oh. Yeah, that's not illegal here, huh? That's not illegal here. Oh. And look at this. Kyler. Too much uh, showboating, brother. This ain't the Halloween dance. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got to stick to it, man. Stick to... Mounting an offense. How about this? Little Red could be in some trouble. Oh! Serpentor. Oh, I thought we were going to eliminate the big man. But Little Red is done. Serpentor. Oh, wishful thinking. Oh, no. We got ambushed by Hawk. No. No. No! What is that? Serpentor. He's got He-Man-like strength. Didn't even give us a chance. That's some pretty. That's pretty realistic. And there goes Kyler and Dutch is still in it. And Serpentor. Oh man, Serpentor's done. How about Dutch? Uh, you know what? I don't think really think I was hurt, which is so unfortunate, man. I felt like I was doing pretty good, but we didn't really last very long. Let's be honest. Oh, uh, man, but you got to move on. So we got Team Cobra, two Team Cobras battling it out. You got Hawk giving the old massage on Dutch. And here comes Big Boa at 10. I cannot believe that we're only in at 10. When you're in the Rumble, time just seems to slow down. And look at this big boy. Holy smoke man. He is big. But Destro doing a nice job. Just... Slowing the big man down. Taking out his legs. That's what you got to do. Take out his legs. And how about this move? Down. Absolutely stunned. I can't believe it. And Dutch. Punching ghosts there. And then again. 
Another Kimura attempt by Hawk. Here comes Mindbender. So now, watch this. Watch out, brother. Oh, Big Bo was done. You got three Team Cobras and two Cobra Kais. Who is going to win this bet? <laughs> this is way too fun. I want to tell you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the ideas doing these rumbles. Man, these videos are still going on and it's just want to thank you all, man. Who's booing in the background? Who's booing in the background in this high school gym? As you guys call it, the indie style stadium. Here comes Tommy. Rest in peace to Tommy. So I had to create Dutch, Bobby, and Tommy. All the guys from the 80s. Now this guy. This is this guy that says, come on, put him in a body bag, Johnny. This guy was full of character. And he was a skinny guy. Look at him. With that beautiful hair. He's in some trouble though. But I'm telling you, these Cobra Kai members, you know, they're used to fighting high school kids, man. They're not used to fighting Team Cobra men. So they're going to be up against it. Don't tell me Tommy's going to be done. Here comes Ripper, not Jack the Ripper. Only at 13. Oh, no. Nice job there by Tommy. And how about Dutch? The muscle on Dutch is keeping him in it, you know? This is something that John Kreese is going to be really proud of here. To see Dutch still hanging in there. You know Kreese ain't going to be happy with us. Oh, how about this? Crocmaster didn't like the uh, that punch. Didn't have a lot of steam on that punch. Oh, telegraph by Dutch. And Ripper looking to rip into Dutch. And he does. With the DDT, here comes Zartan. And I got to say right now, Team Cobra seems to be getting the advantage against Cobra Kai. But remember, Cobra Kai, they're strong in numbers. So they got to hope. Oh, what a move by Bobby. <laughs> or Tommy, sorry. What a move by Tommy. And then he clocks his old friend. That was a sneaky move. Typical Tommy. Typical Tommy for doing something like that. Just lowering the ropes. He may not have the strength advantage. He may not have the size advantage, but he's got the brains. And how about Hawk, man? Hawk is doing a terrific job. The young blood is keeping him inside here. Sweet chin music, and Tommy's done. Tommy is done, but Zartan going right after Hawk here. And nice job by the Croc Master. And Dutch seems to be slowing down. Ripper could be done. Destro. Oh, a nice job by Ripper. Showcasing good flexibility. Zartan doing a nice job coming back after Hawk was kind of going at him. And now Hawk could be in some trouble. We need... Oh, here's Edwin. So this is a kid from Cobra Kai. And uh, I got to tell you, man, he's a young kid. I don't think he's going to be able to muster anything here. Not too sure if he's... Oh, nice job, though. Showcasing. Great moves there, really. And now he's going right after Zartan. Giving him a knee to the belly. And another. And let's see if Edwin, another one, can continue this. This is a high-intensity stuff. High-intensity stuff. Here comes Mitch Davis. And let's see who this is. Mitch Davis. Another Cobra Kai member rolling in. Oh, I'm a croc master. Pulling a Stone Cold Steve Austin, getting right into mount, throwing punches. And now Destro could be in some trouble. What a job by Dutch. I'm really impressed with Dutch. The bleach blonde hair. Oh no, there goes Hawk. That bleach blonde hair is looking great. And his moves are looking even better, man. But he is slowing down. It's only normal. For a guy to withstand all that he has taken so far. To be absolutely exhausted and ripper. Oh, oh it looked like a wobbled kind of punched attempt. And Dutch could be in some trouble. And ripper just seems just so big for him. Really just seems too big for him. Nice job by Zartan. And Edwin grabbing the back of the head. Oh, <laughs> And an uppercut. Oh, big slap there by Crocmaster. Oh, oh, nice job there by Mitch. All right, let's see who's going to come in now. Robbie Keane. And this is the son of Johnny Lawrence. 
This is the son of Johnny Lawrence. And uh, I'm still watching Cobra Kai. I believe I'm in season three. And uh, he's on Team LaRusso, but apparently he may have been part of... Oh, no! Team Cobra Kai, and he just eliminated Dutch. That was incredible. But Dutch just, he didn't have anything left in the gas tank, let's be honest. He didn't have anything left in the gas tank. And now let's see who's going to be rolling in at this point. Here we go. Road Pig at 18. Zartan could be in some trouble. Let's see if Team Cobra Kai, look at this. <laughs> Team Cobra Kai going after Team Cobra. Zartan, is he done? He is. Oh, not done quite yet. Oh, there goes Edwin. Edwin did really well. There goes Zartan. And Crocmaster not doing a thing. Not doing a thing about it. Kind of hesitating. Wow, man. This is incredible to see Road Pig and Ripper going after each other. And the undersized Robbie Keane. He's got that speed. Here comes Mike Barnes. And this is from Karate Kid 3. This was the last guy that took on Daniel LaRusso and man he was really giving LaRusso the beating of his life until Daniel decided he's like he goes up to Mr. Miyagi remember this he, uh, Miyagi's like come on you could do it and he's like I'm afraid I'm afraid and then he said stop stop and then he goes just worry about your uh, your form there goes Crocmaster and then he's like karate in the heart Karate in the spirit. And then all of a sudden he went into a, a kata. <laughs> and uh, went in for the final blow. As here comes. Look at this man. This is from Cry to Get 3. Terry Silver. Terry Silver now. With the silver hair. It's got a lot of salt in there. No more Peppa. Oh, there goes. Wow, man. There goes Mitch. And now how crazy is this? Robbie Keane going after the Sensei Silver. And now Barnes is in some trouble. You got to say that Team Cobra, here comes Kenny Payne, definitely have the strength advantage. And they're really showcasing it here. But Team Cobra Kai is falling apart as they're battling it out against each other. But now Barnes, smart man, understanding the task at hand. He needs Team Cobra Kai to win this. No sense in fighting each other. You got to go against the other team. But look at these moves by Terry Silver. Mr. Silver now going after poor Keen, man, Robbie Keen. And how about this? Look at, look at Kenny. Here comes Zaymot. Zaymot now coming in, Team Cobra, trying to even out the odds here. And Zaymot, one of the twins. Let's see what he does. Him and Road Pig are fighting it out. Ripper could be in some trouble. But see, look at Kenny. Kenny can't help uh, Robbie here. As how about Terry Silver <laughs> taking out his frustration on his uh, student back in Karate Kid 3. This is really cool to see. These guys didn't really like that strategy because he was telling he wanted Daniel Russo to face all kinds of pain. So he made Barnes win a point and then lose a point by an illegal move. Win a point and lose a point. Till the final uh, seconds when it was even. And who is this guy? Who is this guy coming in? It's Torch going right after Barnes. And now Zaymot is in some trouble. What a job by Road Pig. What a job. And Ripper, what is this? He is frozen. Look, he's a statue. What was that 80s TV show in the... Uh, in the mall. Anybody remember that 80s TV show? It had the mouse, the uh, the two people, the guy that would lose the hat, he would go frozen. What was it called? Oh man, I can't remember. Oh, but he's alive. He's alive, thanks to Kenny. Yeah, that was a great show. Today's special, was it called? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Ripper was frozen in time. <laughs> and now he's back in action. As things are kind of evening out. Oh, look at this. Terry Silver. As, oh, Robbie couldn't get it. Silver just seems to be a step ahead when it comes to the kicks here. Oh, nice sidestep there by Robbie. Throwing those punches. And he clocked the sensei. He clocked him. And now he's in mount throwing punches. Kenny just got belly to belly. <laughs> oh, man, by Road Pig. 
And now Torch going after Barnes. I'm telling you, I feel like Barnes is a is a dark horse. Barnes is a dark horse here, but he's getting armbarred. And Ripper could be in some trouble against Zaymot. Zaymot trying. Silver can't seem to sneak in. And now <laughs> Silver is taking out his frustrations on it. Oh man, that's deadly. <laughs> what he just did there to Barnes. Oh. And one of the most heartbreaking moments in Karate Kid 3 is when they, uh, Team Cobra Kai broke one of the, the bonsai trees. Oh, when broke the root, and then Miyagi's like, root could be broken, but it could always survive. I can't remember all the lines, man. But <laughs> Great moments from my childhood, for sure. But things are heating up, brother, let's be honest here. Things are heating up. Nobody's really seems to be in the driver's seat. As Robbie Keane going after Torch, but again, not having that size advantage is going to be against Keane. Maybe Keane can prove me wrong. Torch trying to hang on, but look at Keane. He's barely over that top rope, and nah, he just gets slapped. And he's got to start all over as Kenny dropping those elbows. Nice job there by Kenny Payne. It's only fitting for a last name to be Payne when you're part of Cobra Kai. And how about this? How about Kenny? What a move! He let his opponent up with his foot. That was very on point. And there goes Ripper. What a job by Zaymot. And now we're seeing Team Cobra Kai. That seems the fresher out of the two teams here. Right? Oh, nice job by Bards. And now Road Pig could be in some trouble. But Kenny getting countered. And Kenny's got to be careful. Being so close to the ropes. Oh, nice duck under there by Road Pig. But Kenny seems to be moonwalking back a little too close to the ropes. This could spell disaster. Oh, nice little slam there by the pig. And now Zaymot getting the advantage on Barnes. And Barnes may be done here, man, in my opinion. Taking a little too much. Silver is rolling to the side. Are we going to see somebody else? Who is possibly... Who is left? Oh, who just got eliminated? Oh, it's Robbie Keane. No. Oh, no. Here comes Cobra Commander. Are you kidding me? Cobra Commander at 24. This is a nice number for the Commander. And let's see how he does. Going right after Torch. How can he go right after one of his men here? Oh, and now he's locking horns with Barnes. But Barnes showcasing beautiful karate skills finishing off that combo with a knee and cobra commander just can't seem to get things going here zaymot setting a screen oh nice job by silver oh and zaymot getting am or no torch getting am ambushed by zaymot and now who is left to come in here i can't even remember who is left everything is randomized when we do these rumbles here's johnny lawrence Oh my gosh, Johnny Lawrence, the number one student. And this is the old school 80s Johnny Lawrence. I was um, deciding if I should put the old man Lawrence, but I wanted to put the young guy Lawrence because he has better stats. And let's see if the number one student, two-time All-Valley <laughs> champion. <laughs> oh, man. But he has some tough customers to face as Zaymot just unloading on him. And now Lawrence... Looking for just somebody to lock horns with. Some easy momentum. He's trying to go after Torch. Now a nice spinning kick. And that's the kick that he used against LaRusso. Remember? In the beginning of Karate Kid when they were at the beach. That <laughs> spinning kick. Oh, don't tell me he may be done. No. No. Heartbreak. Oh, man. That is pure heartbreak. Oh, no. There goes Barnes. Barnes and Lawrence are done almost right away. Holy cow, man. Two number one students are eliminated. You could tell I was cheering for Johnny Lawrence. You know, in the Cobra Kai show, I'm team Johnny Lawrence, man. And I never thought I would ever say that. If you asked me back in 1985, I would never say that. But times have changed, brother. Times have changed. But let's see what happens here. What number are we at? Terry Silver has been in there for quite some time. Even Torch has been in there. Zaymot. Road Pig as well. All these guys. And Payne is doing 
really well at this point. Here's Tomax. This is the um, the twin of Zaymot, right? This is the twin. Nice job by Cobra Commander. But let's see if Double C could put something together here and start cleaning house. I guess he just wasn't the best when it came to close hand-to-hand -hand combat. He just wasn't the best, brother. Let's be honest. And you're seeing that right here. Oh, but he was sneaky. Sneaky with the kick. And now, could he get the advantage? Oh, what happened there? That was a weird sound. I don't know if you guys heard that at home. It's a weird sound in the collision. And here comes Miguel Diaz. Johnny Lawrence's number one student. Rolling in. At a nice number. And Diaz is already shaking the cobwebs. He just came in. And how small is Diaz compared to Road Pig? And he doesn't know what to do. He's kind of freezing up. He's kind of freezing up. He's going after Zaymont. And now... Oh, wow, nice move. Wow, man, this is... You know, it's unbelievable how Cobra Commander has nothing left. No power at all. No power at all. Because Kenny just seems to be getting the advantage. He's still pouring it on, Kenny is. And Miguel, how about that? Almost like in sync there with... Uh, and I'm not talking about the pop band. But uh, Miguel and Kenny threw the same kick at the same time. And it connected together. That is nuts, but let's see what happens here. Don't tell me Kenny's going to be done. Kenny's been showcasing unbelievable skills. But again, he doesn't have that size and strength to stay in there. He gets flipped over, and Cobra Commander gets the last laugh. Cobra Commander gets the last laugh. And Terry Silver now trying to get Road Pig out of there. Nobody's willing to help Silver, though. Nobody's willing to help. And Cobra Commander having a little chit-chat with the crowd. And now Road Pig allowing to come back. The twins are fighting it out now. The twins are battling it out. And I can't tell who is who. I can't tell who is who. As they're fighting it out. Nice spinning back fist there by Miguel. Now let's see what Miguel can do. Diaz trying to do the best that he can. But he's getting thrown in the corner. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is Nick Diaz. The only guy I'm cheering for in this rumble is Miguel. That's what's up. DS for life. Oh no! So there goes Zaymot because Tomax is still in. Oh no, Terry Silver's done. Road Pig. Cleaning house. This crazy pig is still in it. And at 28, it's Mitch. Who is Mitch? I'm guessing he's a Cobra Kai member. Always oh, the guy with the beautiful fro. He's like um, kind of the heavier set kid that's on Cobra Kai. And again, this guy doesn't have. Well, I'm not again, but he doesn't have the best stats. But he's rolling in at 27. So that's good for him. Oh, nice job there by Mitch. Wow. And that's the strength that you see there from Mitch. But now, how about this? We saw the Cobra Kai members basically running things for most of this rumble. And now it's Team Cobra that's in the lead as far as numbers are concerned. Who is coming in now? Monkey Wrench, another Team Cobra member. And if you're a Cobra Guy fan, you're not too happy here as Monkey Wrench going after Cobra Commander is lifting it up. Nice job by Cobra Commander. Oh, taking out the legs. And now Tomax trying to go after Torch. Road Pig, I can't believe this crazy pig is still in it. And who do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five Team Cobras. Only two Cobra Kai members. Who is left to finish off this rubble? Oh no, it's John Kreese. The dirtiest man in the books is rolling in at 30. You know he rigged it to come in this late. And John Kreese, is he going after Miguel? Wow. Team Cobra Kai fighting it out. Uh-oh. Cobra Commander could be in trouble. Tomax trying to eliminate the Commander. The Commander doing the best he can. Aww. Just can't seem to survive. And out he goes. And now this is it. This is it. Team Cobra versus Cobra Kai. Don't tell me Kreese is done. Kreese is taking a nap. Nobody, nobody sees it though. Nobody sees it. Kreese gets up. There you go. Good job by Kreese. Waking up quickly, getting himself out of that tough position. 
And now he's taking the center of the ring. <laughs> Thanking the gods for keeping him inside this rumble. Wow. And how about this? Miguel Diaz laying the hammer down. Mitch seems to be slowing down. Nice elbow again by Diaz. Two times. Is he going for three times a charm? He lands all three of them. But now Monkey Wrench going after Diaz. Is he going to get the elimination? Oh, nice job by Diaz. Staying in it. And you know Miguel Diaz has the heart of a champ, man. Tons of heart. Diaz does. And nice takedown. He's watching MMA into side control. Basically sitting on his opponent, throwing punches. Don't tell me Kreese could be done. Kreese keeps on napping on the side ropes. Tomax doesn't notice it. Unbelievable power nap by Kreese. He's taken two of them and survived it. And now Torch could be done. Torch is stunned. Kreese is loading up. Oh, nice job by Torch. Sidestepping. Oh, missed roundhouse kick by Kreese. And seeing Kreese in here, seems like Kreese is on something here. Because he doesn't seem himself. He seems kind of wobbling around, falling asleep on the job. And he's falling asleep again. <laughs> <laughs> this is highly entertaining for me. Can you tell, brother? Can you tell? But this John Kreese character is hilarious because he just can't stay awake. <laughs> he can't stay awake. He's taken three naps so far inside this rumble. And now he's double teaming with Diaz. Smart move. Smart move. And now he's ambushing Diaz. But Diaz doing a nice job at kind of fending off Kreese. <laughs> Everybody's booing Kreese. Everybody's booing John Kreese, but he doesn't care, man. He loves to play the heel. He loves to play the villain. And how about this? The torch has been blown out. Unbelievable. And how about this matchup? Road Pig and John Kreese. Oh, Kreese. Don't tell me. No, no, not another. Oh, nice job by Kreese. Wake it up. Oh, there goes Monkey Wrench. And now we've got... Wow, we've got only two... Oh, it's two on two. Miguel Diaz and the Road Pig. Tomax and John Kreese. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? This is great stuff. And right now, the good old momentum has got to be on Cobra Kai's side. But all it takes is one bad move. Wow. I'm telling you, the kicks of Cobra Kai is what's keeping them in it. It's strength versus speed. But how about this? John Kreese. I think he's waking up. Where is he going? He's indecisive. That's not good. Oh, nice job. Finally landed it. But he's got to turn around and help Diaz. But I'm telling you, Diaz is just so on point when it comes to reacting when he's in vulnerable positions. Oh, no. How about that? John Kreese and Miguel going up now against Road Pig. Here we go. And how about that? Shadow boxing by Kreese. And Kreese is just waiting for his opportunity. Oh, instead of going after Road Pig. Oh, <laughs> nice speed by Miguel getting out of, way, out of the way of that kick by John Kreese. Very wacky final three. Miguel could be in some trouble. Road Pig not wasting any time. Here we go. He's loading up. Oh, no, he's done. And now we're down to Road Pig and John Kreese. The man that's taken three naps inside this rumble. This now could be in some trouble. Road Pig. Let's see if he can utilize that strength. He's got him up for a scoop slam. Lands that beautiful technical scoop slam. And Kreese now seems to be in some trouble. And he again, he doesn't have that stamina. <laughs> He's always <laughs> falling asleep on the job. But he gets out of the way. Let's see if finally Kreese can put together something special. Oh, no. He could be in some trouble. Oh, no. He's still in it. He's still in it. Is he going to roll under? Wow. Quick move by Kreese. But he's grabbing that knee. He's in some big trouble. And Road Pig, who's been in there forever, brother, is continuing to lay on the onslaught of attacks. A nice side slam. And let's see if Kreese has anything left. Oh, he grabs it. Wow. This wild man. It's still in it. Oh, no. He's going to get power slammed down. Wow. Road Pig getting the advantage. He has the height advantage, the strength advantage. 
And now this could be the end for Kreis. No way. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's still in it. This man just says never say die. Kind of telegraphed that roundhouse. And now he's in some trouble again. Is he's in big time trouble. He's waving. He's moving those feet. Like he's doing a handstand in the pool. Uh-oh. Oh, down he goes. Advantage Road Pig at this point. And Road Pig doesn't waste any time when it comes to elimination. Oh, no. Clothesline. And he's really pumping it out here. Another clothesline. Is he going to get another scoop slam? <laughs> oh, Crease with a nice job. Oh, taking out the legs. And uh, if I'm John Crease, I got to slow this pace down. Wow. Spinning kick to the temple. And now a kick down low and another one up high. John Crease could have a chance here. But Road Pig says no way again. What a finals this is. And Crease with the counter knee. And now another knee. It looked like it was a knee to the Hulkamaniacs, but it's anything goes. No mercy. Strike first, strike hard. No mercy, sir. Is that how it goes? Oh, I don't think... Oh, gravity was not on Crease's side. What was he thinking? And this could be bad news for Crease. He's getting thrown into the corner. He's stunned. He's stunned. He's hanging on. He's so trying to hang on. Oh, no. He gets flipped over. It's over. Team Cobra has done it. Road Pig has punched his ticket to the Champions Rumble. He had it, man. He so had it. He was so good. The moment he came in, this Dirty Pig was throwing out dirty shots all Rumble long. And congrats to him. The Road Pig is now going to the Champions Rumble. But don't worry. If you were a fan of John Kreese, he will be in the finalist Rumble at some point. Wow, I just got to breathe, man. Just got to breathe. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Shoutouts to Brother Malachi once again for the idea. And thank you all for being here. I'll catch you next time for sure. This is Ricky J. Take care, man.